Come join us after your classes. Make your voice heard. The plaza protest sort of stemmed out of an idea where we wanted to keep students who would be triggered by these images safe from the images. So I started the Facebook group with that intention and it sort of blew up into people who wanted to rally for pro-choice, people who were pro-life but just really didn't like these images, people who wanted to create a safe space for their peers. So now I would say the plaza protest isn't even mine anymore. It's the student bodies, which I'm really happy about. Um, so yeah, I'd say that's that's what it is. It's the voice of all of the students of UF, not the, these people from Ohio. <laughs> so I was walking to class um, yesterday in Turlington, and, and you know, I've had my, my history of trauma. Um, and seeing the images, I've seen them before. I'm a senior, so I've seen them every year. They're here every year. But this year, they were just sort of more aggressive about it, and I was more aware of myself as a person and more aware of my... You know, in the past I had, pa had panic attacks about the images, but I never knew what was going on. I thought I was being sensitive, or I thought I was, you know, it was my job to not look. But now I realize, um, after taking so many classes about it, that these things are, they're actually psychological triggers, and they're used as shock value. So, obviously yesterday I sort of broke down, I ended up missing a class, I ended up not going to any of my classes, I missed a quiz, all because of these images. So I just felt like I had, I had to do something for everyone else. No, Create Equal's goal is to create informed public discussion about abortion. Because if we want to, if we're open-minded and want to reach a conclusion about whether abortion is moral or immoral, we have to have all of the evidence, and that includes what it looks like. There are many triggers in society. The answer is not making a trigger-free world, because that's impossible. You can't take away playgrounds, you can't take away all the vacuum cleaners, and we should not remove all abortion images that can save human lives. The answer is helping people deal with triggers in healthy ways. And that's why we have 800 numbers for a confidential line so people can call other people, not just me, and talk about their emotions. That's why the university has counselors out here, and that's why we are prepared to help people find real resources, not to hide the triggers, but find healthy ways to deal with them. Got to go.